This is Will with Cigar Coop. I'm at the 2012 IPCPR trade show in Orlando, Florida, and I'm here with the godfather of boutique cigars, Ernesto Perez Carrillo. Ernesto, thank you for taking a moment to talk thank to you. me. Thank you, Coop. Thank awesome. You. So, um, Ernesto, tell us first what's uh, new with the show. Uh, tell us a little about the inch, obviously, that's your focus. Right. That's the, uh, you know, that's the, uh, the new uh, cigar that we brought to the show. And basically, uh, one of the reasons we brought that to the show is because, you know, since uh, it's such about three years ago, people have been asking me to make a big ring gauge cigar. Now, needless to say, when we, when we decided to do this, we wanted to be something that was going to be special, that was going to be different than what we're doing now with the four lines, the new way. And so, for this particular cigar, we decided to go with uh, more of a Dominican type blend. But the interesting thing is, you know, this is just not only Dominican tobacco that is presently being used, but it's a Dominican tobacco, the original Piloto seed that used to be grown back in the early 90s. So this is why I got all excited when I was able to get a hold of this tobacco and uh, make this cigar. So how's the, how's the reaction been to a lot of folks? Because I know there's some folks who do like big ring gauges, but the purists have kind of said, well, I'm not going to smoke a big ring gauge. What kind of right. feedback have you been hearing? Well, you know, it's funny because I've had a, a few people that... Uh, you know, they come here and they say, well, I'm a Corona man, I'm a Lonsdale man, but when they smoke the inch, uh, and surprisingly the 64 ring gauge, which is that way, that's why we call it the inch, I mean, they just can't believe the, the flavors and the taste that they get from that cigar. And to a certain degree, they say, you know, I feel that uh, this is not your common big ring gauge cigar. So, I mean, it's been great. I mean, the... the uh, Basically, we've sold out of, you know, basically everything we've made in the Dominican Republic. And we've been producing these cigars for the past, I would say, three or four months. So one of the, one of the big changes you've made with that cigar is uh, the banding. It's very different from the EPC banding we've seen um, previously. So what went into that a little? Well, we wanted to make this a brand in its, in its, in its own because of the, different, of, the, of the fact that we're making, you know, with uh, different tobaccos that we use for the core lines. And the band was, uh, you know, we wanted to get something that was original. And we worked on the band, I would say, for the past six months to a year, we've been working on the design for the band. Finally, um, you know, we decided to go with a ruler. And this particular ruler, we went through about, I would say, six or eight different rulers that we bought on eBay. And these were antique rulers. And, uh, you know, the one that we used for the band was just like the perfect, uh, you know, we felt it was a perfect one for the, uh, for the design of the band. Excellent, it's beautiful. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Thank it, it you. Really Thank is. you very much. It really is. It really is. So, um, one thing I've noticed um, in about five or six companies I've said this to is I've kind of, over the past three, three years, watched certain companies just grow up from the inception. And, and someone uh, following the industry like myself, it's been a lot of fun. And, and EPC, EP Grill has certainly been one of those companies. Where do you think you are right now in terms of your growth now? You're, you're in three years, you, you've built a very solid core line and, and a lot of cigars around that. Well, our growth, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to say um, it's been something incredible. Uh, you know, for a relatively new company, although the family has been in business since 1907, I mean, it, it amazes us at times because every year there's a growth, you know, 30%, 40%, and every month, you know, we're growing. So, I mean, it's been incredible. It just shows that, uh, you know, uh, the cigar smokers, uh, they're very loyal. I mean, they're very loyal to, to me because I've been in the business for over, over 40 years. So everybody out there, the retailers, the, uh, the consumers have supported me. And I tell you, I can't uh, express my, my gratitude for that. Excellent. Yeah, and the products have just been been outstanding uh, to one hit after another, I've seen. so. Fortunately, fortunately, you know, it seems that everything, you know, we've been making... Uh, has been very well accepted and we intend on you know keeping doing that you know the thing is that nowadays there's so many good cigars out there the competition is so intense that you know we just don't want to put out a cigar just for the sake of putting out a cigar we want to put out a cigar that's going to be special and that people are going to enjoy and that's why we do the new wave connecticut the uh the line natural the maduro and now the inch yeah, excellent, excellent. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's, been a, it's, it's been a great ride, and uh, we expect to, uh, you know, keep hitting this wave. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, obviously, you know, the big ring gauge cigar is an industry trend, and, you know, it's something that you've seen a lot. But what other industry trends are you seeing right now in terms of the cigar industry? Well, I think, you know, I mean, realistically, you know, tobacco, uh, to a certain degree, there's so much you can do with it. What I am seeing... And 
and this goes back to a few years, is the packaging. You know, everybody's, uh, most people are trying to get away from the, uh, you know, the original, traditional Q1 packaging and going to different types of packaging. And I think this is great. Uh, I myself, you know, was always a traditionalist, and, um, but I think the way that the industry is going as, as far as packaging is, you know, very unique and it's really what's going to take us to the next level as, as an industry. So uh, that's something that's very exciting. Yep. And then, of course, you know, you have, uh, like I was saying before, you know, people are just making better and better cigars. Tobacco uh, is, is getting better. One thing that I'm noticing also and that I'm happy to be a part of is that, um, you know, especially in Dominican, we're working with new seeds, the original Piloto seeds, uh, Corojo, Habano 2000, uh, Pelo de Oro. And, you know, that's something that in the next, I would say, two years, maybe three years, we are going to go see, we are going to start seeing a lot of uh, blends with uh, these tobaccos from the Dominican Republic. And Nicaragua, needless to say, you know, that country has done, you know, incredible, incredible work. The people down there have done incredible work with tobacco. And it's, uh, you know, it's just exciting. It's yeah. exciting to be in this industry at this time. Yes, uh, someone told me actually we're kind of in this artistic period of cigars right now where there's a lot of creativity going into the blends. What would you think about that? Uh, I, I would say, you know, I would say there is to a certain degree, but I think we haven't really seen the the uh, the top of the iceberg yet. I mean, there's a lot more things that are going to be up and coming in the coming years that are really going to, you know, going to be incredible. And I'm, you know, I'm very proud to be a part of it. Uh, a lot of my friends that are in the industry, you know, we get together, we talk. And, uh, you know, we share ideas and we talk about tobacco. And, I mean, some of my friends, like the Olivas, uh, Garcia, Padron, uh, Lito Gomez, I mean, a lot of people out there, I mean, AJ Fernandez. I mean, a lot of people out there that are doing really very spectacular things with tobacco. And uh, I think, like I said before, I think this is going to, you know, take the industry to, a, to another level. I agree. I agree. For sure. Yep, I, I agree. Well, Ernesto, I really appreciate some time this morning. Um, thank you, as always. Thank you very much, William. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Yep, yep, and this is Will signing off. Okay.